Hi, I'm Ed Zinda, and this is What the Funk. In this video, I'm going to explain why I'm all in on Ethereum and why I think it's the number one development platform for blockchain applications. Before we get started, if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to this channel so you can stay up to date whenever I post a new video. With that out of the way, let's get into it. The first reason I have is developer experience. Ethereum is by far the easiest blockchain platform to get started developing. You can create your very first smart contract using the super simple Solidity programming language and tools like the Remix IDE. For more complex smart contracts and full-blown decentralized applications, you can make use of any number of powerful tools like Truffle or libraries like OpenZep on Solidity. If you're new to Ethereum development, you can find a whole slew of development tutorials like the ones on this channel, like and subscribe, and the number of courses you can find elsewhere are endless. For all of these reasons and more, I feel it's super easy to get started with Ethereum, and you can go from beginner to intermediate or advanced in a matter of months or even weeks. Now for reason number two, DeFi. Cryptocurrencies were in large part created to facilitate a decentralized economy, free from the shackles of large banks and governments. By eliminating the need to trust a central party, platforms like Bitcoin and Ethereum have given power back to individuals to do what they want with their money. Decentralized finance is just the latest iteration of this, and you can find all kinds of financial tools available and live on the Ethereum mainnet today. From lending and borrowing, to trading and simple P2P payments, decentralized finance applications exist to give anyone the power to make their money work better for them. These protocols and applications can be mixed and matched and used together to make even more complicated decentralized applications. DeFi on Ethereum is quite literally money Legos. The best part of all is that you don't even have to ask permission to use it. And the number three reason I'm all in on Ethereum is Ethereum 2.0. Ethereum, as great as it is, isn't without its drawbacks. One of the most glaring issues is its lack of speed. On average, you can expect to wait a few seconds to maybe several minutes for a single transaction to go through on the Ethereum mainnet. And this is depending on the state of the network. Off-chain or layer 2 solutions help to alleviate this problem, but they're not perfect. These solutions aren't without their own unique issue. Ethereum 2.0 will bring with it features like proof of stake, this eliminates the need for costly and inefficient mining equipment for validating transactions. Another feature of Ethereum 2.0 is sharding, which breaks the total transactions into smaller groups, which will be handled by shards. Each shard will validate its own handful of transactions, improving throughput on the overall network. These improvements, along with the existing Layer 2 solutions, will help bring Ethereum up to speed with the more centralized applications. Another cool feature, and one I'm particularly excited about, is eWASM. eWASM is basically a very powerful virtual machine made for the web. This allows for a larger number of programming languages to be used for creating smart contracts. Developers will no longer be stuck using Solidity or Viper to create smart contracts, but can also use languages like C++ or Go to create more complex smart contracts. It's because of these reasons and more that I'm all in on the Ethereum platform. Ethereum is by no means perfect, but I see it as the number one platform to be on for blockchain development in the future. What do you think? Have you had the same experience developing on Ethereum? Is there another platform you prefer? Maybe there's something better. Let me know in the comments down below. If you like this video and you'd like to see more content like this, go ahead and give me a like. If you have any other questions, go ahead and leave them down below as well. Once again, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.